Hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome to boot camp. Coach Jazzy here. And today, where our theme is skull. So it is going to be a little bit more cardio focused today. Um, and then I have a special bonus for us at the end, uh, depending on how time goes. So I'm going to go real quick through our demos here, and then we'll get into it. So first movement here, we're going to do some skips, uh, but we are going to do some lateral skips. If you don't have the space to go back and forth, just do a straight up skip in place or a march. Um, but I like to kind of start off with a little bit of a march here. So we're coming out, whoops, opposite arm, opposite leg, this way. There we go. And then once we get the hang of it, we're going to go ahead and do a double tap here going to the side. So that's our S. For the K, we're going to do a reverse lunge with a knee drive. We are going to alternate here. So we're going to step back one leg. Exhale, come up, and then the other leg, and come up. That's going to be our K. For the U, we're going to do some more duck unders. I know we did these last week, but we're going to stay here. And we are stepping, ducking, and shifting our weight. That's our U. For the L, first L, we're going to do a moving lateral lunge. You all know I love these. We're going to step out and up. So again, if you don't have the space, Try and just do one at a time, or you can do a static alternating lateral lunge there. And then last but not least, we're gonna do some lateral bounds. So we're gonna start on one foot. Um, we're pushing like we have a rubber band here. So we are pulling back with one leg and then skipping or skipping last jumping to the other leg. So that is going to be our whole circuit today. We're going to do 45, 15, three rounds. And like I said, we're going to do a special bonus at the end. And I will get there when we get there. So let's go ahead, do a real quick warm up here. We're going to start off with the world's greatest stretch. Y'all already know. So we're going to go ahead and release our fingers, grab onto one of our knees, pulling towards our chest. And exhaling, step back, reverse lunge. Hands coming down on the inside of our front foot. Back leg stays nice and straight. Nice big deep inhale. And exhaling, opening up towards the ceiling, gazing past our hand, thumb is facing behind us. We're looking at our palm. And exhaling, planting outside of our front foot. Bring our back foot a little bit closer and push our hips up into our hamstring stretch. And we're going to go ahead and exhale, bring our feet together, push the ground away, and stand on up. All right. Same thing on the other side, and release our fingers, grabbing onto our other knee, pulling towards our chest. And exhaling, step back, reverse lunge. Hands coming down on the inside of our front foot. Back leg stays nice and straight. Nice, big, deep inhale. And exhaling, opening up towards the ceiling, thumb is facing behind us, looking past our hand. And exhaling, planting outside of our front foot, bring our back foot a little bit closer and push our hips up into our hamstring stretch. And we're gonna go ahead and exhale, bring our feet together, push the ground away and stand on up. All right, since we have a lot of lower body coming up here, we're gonna do some deep squats to stands here so we can open up our hips and our hamstrings just a little bit more. So when we're ready, we're gonna have our feet roughly hip width apart. Feel free to bring them out a little bit wider if you need to. I'm gonna stay this way. So we're gonna go ahead, push our hips back, bring our hands down, grabbing onto our toes. We're gonna go ahead, inhale, bringing our Glutes down as far as we can. And then exhale, push through your whole foot, bringing your hips back up. So that's going to give us a nice hamstring stretch. So we're going to do three more here, inhaling down. Exhaling, pushing through our feet, coming back up. Two more coming down. And... 
Coming up. And last one. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. And then we're going to go ahead. Push through our feet. Standing all the way up. And we are ready to rock and roll. So. Spelling out school. We're doing three rounds. 45-15. And like I said. We have our bonus. But I'm not telling you until we get there. So. I'm going to go ahead and get the timer started here. Starting off with our lateral skips. Three, two, one, and go. So starting on whichever side you like. Um, Like I said, you can start with like a march here. So you can do a few marches going to the side. If you don't have the space, you can um, just do a skip in place. I do like to do these just so we can get that strength in our knees moving side to side. Uh, but like I said, too, if you are not comfortable skipping, I know it can be helpful to march a few and then start double tapping. Or you can just double tap in place. I think by now you all know whatever works for you. Go ahead and do that. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, reverse lunge with a knee drive. We are going to be alternating our feet. If you want to go ahead and do a, a jump in there as well, feel free. Three, two, one. So we're stepping back. Knee coming forward, chest staying forward. Exhaling, driving our knee up. And then switching to the other side. Making sure as we step back, our feet are on train tracks. We're not on a tight rope here. So if you need to step out a little bit wider to make sure that you have the balance and stability. Also making sure that our stride is far enough back, but also close enough that our foot, our front foot is holding the work. So a lot of times if we step back too far, you're gonna lose your balance. You're gonna feel that in your back leg. So finding that right distance for you, three, two, one. All right. Next up, we have duck unders. So we are stepping out into our squat. So we're working on getting low into the squat and shifting our weight. Three, two, one. So starting on one side, again, we're squatting. We want to keep our feet as close to hip width as we can. Again, we're getting nice and low, shifting our weight pushing through. So it's a little bit of, I don't want to say a full single leg movement, but it's similar enough to a single leg, right? Because we're coming over, shifting our weight, pushing through. So right on that one, I was pushing more on my right leg. This one, pushing more on my left. I don't know why my knee feels sore today. Oh, taking it a little extra slow. But driving through that whole foot, three, two, one. All right. Next up, moving lateral lunge. So doing as many as you can with the space you have. If that's even just doing a static lateral, or lateral lunge, feel free. Three, two, one. Because I know y'all have been taking my classes long enough to know that if I were at home, I would not have the space to do this. So working with the space you have, um, making it work for you. But if you do have enough space to try and do at least one in each direction, doing whatever you can, we want to make sure that as we step out, a little bit closer, as we step out, our knees forward, our hips are back, our chest is over our foot as we stand up. So we want to make sure we're pushing through the glute of the foot that we step out with. We're not pushing off of our leg that is straight. Three, two, one. All right, last up, we have lateral bound. And then we're going to do that two more times. And we're going to get into our bonus. Three, two, one. All right, so we are. Pushing our hips back, sinking into our hips, right? So we have a slight bend in our knee, hips are slightly back. We are, all of our weight is stacked on our foot and we are jumping and landing the same way. So we want to make sure that we are stable in our landing position before we jump again. So 
We are not just going back and forth. I don't want any injuries here. This is to help us build the strength and working on our landing mechanics and also our jumping off, which is going to help with walking, running, general movement here. Y'all know there's always a purpose and a method. Three, two, one. All right. One round down, two to go. Starting back with our lateral skips. Again, if you don't have the space, stay in place or um, go forward or do as many as you can. Three, two, one. Again, if you need to, I feel like I always need to at least start off with a march so I can get the movement down with the arms and the legs. Really key again, as always, we are getting our knees up nice and high, staying tall through our torso, and we're using our core to get our legs up. So the exhale is going to be really key there for us to keep our core locked and loaded. Three, two, one. All right. Next up, reverse lunge to knee drive. And if you want to add a little bit of a jump instead of just a knee drive, feel free. Three, two, one. So again, stepping back. Same thing with the skip. We're exhaling, driving our knee up. We want as close to 90 degrees here as we can. We're being explosive as we drive up. So slow on the way down, exhaling up, working on our explosiveness. Great job. This way for a few. Push in three, two, one. I don't know where my balance went. All right. Duck unders are next. So starting on one side, working on our depth and weight shift here. Three, two, one. So R, out, under, and up. So stepping out um, until our feet are about hip width. You need to go a little more whatever helps you get that depth because we want to act like we have like a pole or a line or a piece of string whatever you want to imagine is at roughly shoulder width so we want to get low enough right so it's staying up here we're ducking under pushing back up so that's the goal here so that's why i want to focus our goals here depth and weight shift Good job. Three, two, one. All right. Moving lateral lunges. And then we have our lateral bounds. And then we're going to do one more round before our bonus. Three, two, one. Moving. Try and get a little bit lower into our squat now. Trying to do as many as we can with, again, the space we have. Knee comes forward, hips go back, stepping just through our foot that we are stepping out with. So right now, I'm moving to the left. My left foot is stepping out. I'm pushing through my left foot. So we want to feel that mainly in the glue of the foot that we are stepping out with. If you need to move a little slower to make sure we're engaging the way we need to, go at the pace you need to here. Three, two, one. All right. Last part of our second round, lateral bounds. And then we got one more. Three, two, one. All right. So coming back, I almost went to our skips. I almost missed this one. Just paying attention though. Again, being stable while we land before we go to the other side. So if we're struggling with our balance, 
we can do two things here. One, it might be your shoes. I know for me, these shoes aren't the most stable. I do this every time. I tend to wear not the best shoes for these and it makes me wobble. So if you need to, if you're at home, take your shoes off, um, make sure you're safe with that. And then the second part is the closer your mass is to the ground, the more stable you are. Three, two, one. All right. Last round. So we have our skips, our first, and then I'll tell you what we're doing by the time we get to our lateral bounds. Three, two, one. So this week, last week we had more. We had a longer circuit. This week, school is only five. So I added in some bonus movements for us to do for the remaining time of the circuit. So in our circuits are generally around 18 minutes. So we're gonna do about three minutes of a circuit, maybe two and a half, depending on how we're feeling. But wanted to give us just a little bit more to do today. Similar, but different format. Three, two, one. All right, done with those. We have reverse lunge, knee drive, alternating our legs. Three, two, one. All right, so we are sitting back, exhaling on the way up. Always, it does help to have our hands involved in this one. Very similar to our march, and position is the same. So, making sure our chest is open. Using our core. It does help if we look a little bit more ahead. I know I tend to look down. Three, two, one. All right. Three more movements. We have duck unders. Next. Three, two, one. Starting on one side, stepping out and up. Again, depth, weight shift, our two goals here. Today, we are definitely doing almost all of our movements for lateral movements today. A little bit more leg slash cardio focus, which was my goal today. Tomorrow, we will still be selling out skull, but we're, we're going to do the plural, so it'll be skulls. A little bit more upper body in that for us. Trying to switch it up, but keep with my same... Um, patterns and beliefs here. Three, two, one. And by that, I mean by sticking what I know works and sticking with making sure we're hitting all of our body parts here. So next up, moving lateral lunge. Three, two, one. Stepping out. Going at whatever pace you need to to feel it correctly here. Keeping our core tight still, exhaling as we step up. Am I still in frame? Yes, I can't see myself. Okay. Great job. After this, we have our lateral bounds. And I will tell y'all what we are doing after. So we're gonna go straight into it. We're gonna have this 15 seconds, our lateral bounds, 15 seconds, and then three. Two, one. All right, so we're gonna do our lateral bounds next. We have 15 seconds. And then we're gonna take our rest after our bounds. And then we're gonna do 2010 burpees and marches. Three, two, one. So we have our bounds first. So we're jumping as far as we can. And like I was saying last time, when our center of mass is closer to the ground, it can help with balance and stability. So really sinking into our hips here. Uh, like I said, we're going to do this, then we're going to do burpees and marches. So we're going to do 20 seconds of burpees, 
10 seconds of marches. And we're gonna do that from between four to six times. So I'm gonna gauge it on how we're feeling. And by that, I really mean how I'm feeling. <laughs> but um, we're gonna just gonna kind of go with it, see how it works, see what time we have left, making sure we do have enough time. I wanna make sure we have enough time to do a cool down after that. Cause I know I'm gonna need it. Three, two, one. All right, we got 15 seconds. We're getting ready. 20 seconds of burpees. So you can do these push up, no push up, whatever feels good. Hopefully, I can see the timer. Three, two, one. So we have burpees first. So again, um, you can do a push up. You can do no push up. If jumping's not your thing today, go ahead, place your hands down, walk your hands out and back. Three, two, one. All right, we are marching it out. Getting those knees up. That was one. Three, two, one. All right, back to burpees. Okay, so we're gonna see how many rounds we feel good doing. The first one is always the easiest one. Making sure we're pushing through our whole foot. Okay, I'm gonna get lightheaded here. Three, two, one. Okay. I don't know what it is, but talking during burpees will always make me feel out of shape. Three, two, one. All right. So that was two down. We're gonna do these next two. See how we feel. See, see where we're at at time. And go from there. Run a walk since we've done burpees. I want to make sure we're not overdoing it. Three, two, one. All right. March it out. We're walking out. I want to make sure we're just not standing here. Three, two, one. Okay. Doing this one. And then we're going to do one more. I'm only going to do five of them today. I think we can do one more after this. Three, two, one. Okay, march it out, march it out. We got one more. Three, two, one. Last round of burpees. Make this the best one now. We're gonna do 30 full seconds here. 30 full seconds of burpees. Try and get as many as we can. Keep pushing. Keep moving forward. I'm like moving out of frame. Can I get two more here? Three, two, one. And that is going to be it for today. Let's go ahead. Grab a sip of water if you need it. And we're going to go ahead and cool down on the ground in just a second. We're going to do some child's pose today. So when you're ready, go ahead and make your way to your hands and your knees on the ground. And take your knees as far as you can, as far as feels comfortable. I'll walk your hands forward, forehead, chin, or cheek, the ground. We're going to do a few breaths. I'm going to stay quiet here. So really try and make your exhales longer than your inhales. And let's go ahead and do one more breath here.
And as you feel finish your exhale, gently return back to your hands and your knees. And feel free to stay on the ground or you can return to a seated kneeling or standing position, but that is gonna be all of the time for us today. So I do hope you enjoyed that workout. Try to make it similar, but different. But thank y'all so much for joining. And I will see y'all again tomorrow for more, more skulls.